Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, I'm going to start a new video series uh, which is uh, Docker uh, Practical Tutorial. Okay, it is going to be new video series. Uh, in this video, we'll discuss about uh, Docker introduction. Let me minimize the recording window. Uh, we'll understand what is Docker, what is the Docker image, and also we'll understand what is Docker container, and what is the use of uh, Docker Hub, and uh, we'll understand the mainly the difference between the virtual machine and the container, right? So, what is Docker? Docker is a containerization technology or platform that enables the creation and use of containers. So, all containers run by a single operating system kernel. Uh, due to this, the, it is lightweight compared to the virtual machines. Generally, virtual machines are actually, uh, 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 we'll, we'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you how the virtual machine works uh, when you go further. Basically, you can think a virtual machine is a, another operating system you uh, uh, build actually compared to your uh, host operating system. The virtual machine will be a guest operating system which will have uh, uh, all the uh, components of operating system, right? So it will be uh, very uh, heavy weighted, but uh, containers are uh, light weighted. Okay, so it will use it will make use of the host uh, operating system. Okay, I will tell you in the detail the further slide. Uh, the containers uh, they can communicate each other through well defined channel. Containers allows developer to package up the application with all its uh, uh, parts it needs, such as libraries and other dependencies, and ship it to uh, ship it all out as a single package. So that's a container, right? Uh, th this service has a, a free as well as premium tires. So community edition also there. There's a commercial edition also there. The software that owns the container is called a Docker engine. This is a Docker engine, which actually owns the, all these containers. It was uh, first started in 2013, and it is developed by a Docker, uh, Docker uh, Incorporation, INC. Okay, now we'll understand what is Docker image. Docker images are templates used to create a Docker containers, right? Uh, meaning it is a uh, Docker uh, Docker image is a file which consists of uh, multiple layers which will be used to execute uh, uh, code in a container in Docker container. Okay, so when we we'll, uh, try to uh, we'll actually uh, go through the uh, the syntax of Docker image in the further videos and uh, we'll explain you each uh, section of the uh, Docker. The image which will be a template file, right? Uh, what is Docker container? Docker container is an instance of Docker image. When you prepare an image, so it will be uh, uh, hosted in uh, your uh, uh, Docker engine. So when Docker engine runs your Docker image, the running instance of a Docker image is called a container. A container is a standard unit of software that packages the code and its dependencies so that application runs quickly reliably from one computing environment to another environment. So basically, uh, most of the software developers as well as the uh, DevOps engineers uh, uh, face the problem of uh, uh, environment mismatch and the runtime mismatch, right? When you when you run your application on different uh, uh, um, server or environment. So those can be avoided when you use uh, Docker containers, okay? So we'll understand uh, more detail when you run our uh, uh, Docker containers with uh, uh, sample examples, uh, sample applications. What is Docker Hub? Docker Hub is the world's largest library community uh, for uh, Docker images. So it will be a, 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 a repository, or you can say it's a, a, a place where all your uh, uh, Docker images or replaced container images are placed, so that uh, people can use make use of it. It's free. So, okay. Uh, browse over. Uh, 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 100,000 of uh, Docker containers from uh, software vendors and open source projects on the community. It will be available in the Docker Hub. And so basically, if you want to uh, get your, uh, uh, if you want to upload your uh, your container, uh, your uh, Docker image into the Docker Hub, you need to create an account in Docker Hub. We'll do it in the uh, in the future videos. Okay, now we'll understand. So how this. Uh, uh, Virtual machine and uh, uh, Docker images are uh, uh, getting differed. How, how it is different and what is the benefit of Docker containers? So if you see the underlying, okay, you will have infrastructure which will be a either laptop or your server or it can be a cloud machine, right? So uh, generally you will have operating system. Uh, if you want actually have a multiple, uh, if you want to develop a, a application, okay, in uh, different environment, what you do is you use actually uh, virtualization technology, which is hypervisor, 
so you have a, a hypervisor uh, 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 type 1 and type 2 basically uh, type 1 will actually directly interact to the uh, operating system the virtual machine will directly directly will uh, uh, interact with the operating system uh, type 2 hypervisor is like something like vmware virtual box which will run your uh, virtual machine as a application right so uh, so using this virtualization uh, technology so you can create a uh, os like uh, this case to os they think of this as a linux uh, ubuntu operating system so this can be a windows and this can be a cent os or red hat whatever so you will have a different operating system which will actually contain uh, libraries uh, where you host your application say example application one hosted in the uh, operating system os uh, uh, guest os one and application two is os two guest os two and application three is uh, guest os three so you see here uh, you have a uh, so you know right when operating system uses it's going to use uh, a huge amount of uh, uh, resources like uh, memory as well as the uh, cpu as well as the disk space okay so uh, memory and uh, 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 cpu is going to be a costly so you are actually uh, to uh, in this example if you want you, you to host your three application you are actually having a three uh, huge set of operating system so you're actually wasting your uh, uh, the resources here so instead actually you can have uh, you can if you have a technology which can make use of the operating system and run this uh, uh, three application in isolation level that will be a great right so uh, that's what we are going to do in the uh, the docker container is session technology okay so uh, this is a, a typical virtual virtual machine uh, architecture will have a uh, infrastructure then operating host operating system using hypervisor uh, virtualization technologies so you will actually have a different uh, operating system okay so each will have its own uh, root permission other stuff okay so in this architecture you will isolate the system but when you contain when it comes to the docker container same you are going to have a infrastructure like it can be a laptop or uh, uh, on-premise service or cloud machine and you will have a host operating system and you see there is a instead of hypervisor you have something called docker daemon which is a docker engine okay it is going to do the containerization so basically it is going to host your application uh, one as a one container okay so application two as another container so bo uh, both uh, and application three as another container all three containers will have uh, its own set of libraries and uh, binaries so that you don't need to share the uh, or you don't need to share it with the other uh, basically you don't need uh, will not have any uh, mismatch application mismatch or uh, say uh, sorry runtime uh, environment mismatch so everything is going to be isolated for this application this environment and uh, this three year so you will have actually uh, you will have benefit of uh, uh, use make using of the uh, available resources so you are going to use only the one operating system here so say consider here you you uh, if you compare with this architecture you see three operating system so each three three or four sorry four operating system four operating system is going to consume huge number of uh, resources see in this case will uh, will be uh, minimized with the one operating system so you are going to use this the operating system the extra resources with the uh, in your application so that your application will be faster uh, uh, so uh, your docker container uh, basically it will have uh, it will docker um, uh, sorry docker daemon which is a docker engine which will actually run your uh, docker images okay and uh, uh, the running docker image is called a container so this is how the uh, uh, so here you isolate uh, application instead of uh, systems so this is how the container uh, uh, is works compared to the virtual machine so let's just key recap the uh, difference between virtual machine and containers uh, virtual machines represents uh, hardware visualization so that you can actually create a different uh, virtual machines okay you can different virtual machine with a different operating system you can install here you uh, uh, containers represent uh, operating system virtualization so that within one of uh, within one operating system you can actually create multiple containers and uh, uh, host your applications uh, because of uh, we you, you, you have uh, different guest operating systems you it will be heavyweight uh, here you you share the same operating system and uh, here it is a bit lightweight compared to the virtual machine uh, virtual machine takes uh, slow provisioning and uh, this containers can be a uh, real-time provisioning and scalability it provides scalability 
it is limited performance it has native performance containers are native performance it has uh, very good performance because it's going to it will be lightweight uh, so we'll actually uh, this uh, will when you practice uh, the containers uh, you will see the performance okay will i'll actually uh, demonstrate you with the examples in the in the future videos and here fully isolated and ends more secure here because of this uh, process lever isolation is here and it's less secure because it's going to use uh, it's going to share the operating system so less secure compared to the virtual machine so apart from this uh, uh, containers are very good because it's going to help you uh, 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 headache of uh, uh, for devops uh, because maintaining different environment for different applications is very tough um, so i hope this video is helpful to get an introduction of docker uh in the future videos we'll start with installation of uh, uh, uh docker in uh, both linux operating system as well as windows and then we'll start uh, uh, building a, a docker images and we'll create a containers uh, thank you so much friends i hope this video is helpful and please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, data making and click on this bell button uh, to uh, to get notification whenever new videos please uh, watch me other videos i have uh, uh 200 videos in my uh uh, uh in my uh, youtube channel which contains of uh, different uh, technologies in big data you can make use of it and uh, share your feedbacks i am happy to help you thank you so much friends